Hey guys, so uh, I thought you might want to see this. This is uh, my mom's phone. She dropped it. She was paddle boarding today and she dropped it in the water. And she has this little bag that's supposedly waterproof, but um, it obviously wasn't because the thing was completely soaked. And it was shut off, she said, when she tried to turn it on, which was kind of dumb. She should have immediately just opened it and took the battery out. And then she came home. So I, I have a feeling it's been soaked for about two to three hours, maybe two hours. So I just took everything apart. Uh, here's the screws, they're super tiny. So you need to get a really small screwdriver to do that. Remember I showed this last week. I actually have this inactivated right now. It's just in here, but I might have to reset this up. But the main thing is hopefully I can get this working. And here's the motherboard for a GS4, it's kind of nice. Here's the camera, or GS3, sorry. Um, I'm filming from a GS4 and mine is, uh, I'm not dropping mine in the water. This is the speaker. Um, this is just some random plate that just kind of covers it up, part of the casing. And here's everything that connects to the screen. I didn't want to open this up. I figured the main part that's going to be broken is something on the motherboard. So I don't know if this is going to work because this has been soaked for a while. One of these kimonos is probably already fried. And I'm not sure if I should, I might just end up putting this in rice. So I put it in rice and then I thought, man, I could probably take it apart pretty easily. So I just got a really small screwdriver took it apart so yeah that's the inside of insides of a gs3 just in case you want to see and um yeah uh hopefully i can get it working again so i'll see you guys later